The Horn of Africa, a region afflicted by the triple scourge of drought, conflict and escalating food prices. Life for millions across this vast, poverty-stricken region has always been tough. But this year, many are being pushed to the very brink of survival. Nature has rarely been kind to the people of Ethiopia. This year, three successive rainy seasons have failed. The faces of children betray the signs of growing hunger. The fields around the food distribution sites look green with rain, but this is deceptive. The rains that came this year were too little and too late. Crop cycles are disrupted, harvests delayed, and the people still waiting for food. Even if we attempt to sow our seeds now, we don't know whether they will grow or not. We are totally confused about this rain. God knows what will happen to us. High food prices in local markets mean the people have suffered a double impact, drought and food price inflation that has pushed basic commodities beyond the reach of millions. The poor and the vulnerable can no longer buy themselves out of trouble. They eat less or not at all. In Somalia, the challenge is even more complex. Conflict has been added to the deadly mix of drought and rising food prices. The scenes at food distribution points are reminiscent of some of the famine years in 1991 and 1992. By the end of this year, three and a half million Somalis could need food assistance. It's bad already, and in Somalia, there is always the potential for things to take a downward spiral. Faced with growing needs, the World Food Programme has the added challenge of transporting food through armed checkpoints and across insecure terrain. Even the seas off the coast of Somalia are no longer safe. Pirates attack aid ships and hold their crews hostage. WFP shipments now rely on the protection of naval vessels. Without these escorts, there's no guarantee that these vital supplies will reach their destination. The picture is bleak. We may have the means to deal with drought in the Horn of Africa, add rising food prices and conflict, and the challenge grows. We can still prevent disaster, but time is running out for millions.